So after months of holidays and research, Microsoft is coming up with fresh new build for developers this week. Build includes folders in the pinned apps area of the start, live captions, new focus experience, quick access improvements in file explorer, also new touch gesture and finally Windows 11 has support for this new 25 year old feature and lot more. They have told that they have polished the build with a lot of general improvements and refinements. Well today in this video we are going to see what's new in the build 2255 and without a further ado let's get started. Well now you can create and organize folders in the pin apps area of the start menu. You can simply drag an app on top of another to create a folder. Also, you can add more apps to a folder, rearrange the apps within the folder and remove apps within folders as well. And well, have you noticed this? Now build names are changed to NI release. So what is NI release you might be asking? Let's Google it. And according to Google, NI means like honestly, no idea. Microsoft is introducing Do Not Disturb and Focus functionality in this build. Do Not Disturb makes it easy to silence your notifications. And well, Focus is the new experience that enables everyone to stay in the moment and minimize the distractions on their PC. And even more, you can set the timer to turn on Do Not Disturb feature automatically. Also, you can set the priority applications so you won't miss notification from these apps. And right here in the notifications, onto the bottom corner, you can see there is a focus button now. Again, it integrates with the clock app such as focus timer and calming music. And well, one of the most awaited features is the live captions, which is surprisingly present in this build. To access the captions, just press the hot key Windows Control L and you'll get this prompt. Now you can play any audio or video and it will be automatically captioned in real time. So basically, captions are automatically generated on device from any content with audio. You can turn on the live captions by pressing the hotkey Windows Control L. Captions can be displayed at top or bottom of the screen or in floating window as well. At this moment, live caption supports US English content only. So well, how correct it works? Let me show you. GTFI on smartphone, that's something everyone is dreaming about, right? And what? This is a Tomb Raider running on Android smartphone. You can see the specifications of the phone in Task Manager. So this feature is working flawlessly. By the way, if you want to see how to run Windows 11 on your Android, do check out this video. Into the live caption settings, you can also include the microphone audio. Also, you can now pin the files as well as file explorer's quick access that is really helpful by the way. Uh, thanks to the Microsoft. No, seriously guys. You can now see your OneDrive storage in File Explorer's top right corner. So when browsing your OneDrive's folders, you can now see your sync status and usage quota so you can buy more storage when it gets full. Microsoft is also experimenting with five new touch gestures for Windows 11. Well, snapping windows below all of them, but Microsoft is coming up with a new idea that works wonderfully with both touch and mouse. To try it out, just drag a window to top corner of the screen to reveal the snap layouts. Drop the window on top of the zone to snap it and use snap assist to finish building your layout. Microsoft is getting more serious on their PC power consumption. So they have updated the default values for the slip and screen off to reduce energy consumption. Obviously when PCs are idle. Have you ever wondered when you open up your task manager right away you see the 100% CPU usage. Microsoft is getting more serious on their PC power consumption. Whoa. Okay, oh, that's how the CPU got 100% usage when the PC is in idle. Also, they have got a cool power saving recommendations in a settings panel to save some juice in your laptops. And while talking about the task manager, we all use it to kill those nasty tasks. And now Microsoft has updated its design. I know you wanted to save some power on those AMOLED screens. They have also introduced a new feature called Eco Mode or efficiency mode in task manager where it shows you apps that are consuming very high resources. Whoa, seriously? Like 
uh, one drive is tracking all of the CPU and RAM. Arrgh. Nevertheless, efficiency mode is quite useful. You can simply turn down the CPU usage of any application. Just right click on it and put it into a efficiency mode. And immediately you can see the results. All the apps that you put in efficiency mode will consume zero system resources. So at least now you have full control of your system utilization. I will definitely put my OneDrive in efficiency mode. And you know one thing about web browsers, they consume lots of system resources. Can you put Microsoft Edge in a efficiency mode? You can't do that. Oh no. Uh, anyways, uh, you know Google Chrome is uh, very system intensive. Oh what? I can't able to put this even in a efficiency mode. So like what's the point? Uh, thanks to the Microsoft. No, seriously guys. And finally, Windows 11 has support for this new 25 year old feature called drag and drop. <laughs> you can basically drag and drop your mouse to share files between Windows apps. Some minor changes and improvements like vivid profile button, updating battery charging indicator with lightning bolt instead of power cable, and a cast icon in taskbar while casting your favorite videos like this one. So make sure to hit that like guys. But besides that, an amazing feature that is much appreciated by all Windows fans is folder previews. Yes, you heard me right. Windows File Explorer can now show you the previews of the items within the folders. So now if you open up any of your folders, now you can see preview of the pictures and items inside it without even opening it up. And that can be a handy feature unless you store your password pictures inside the folders. And it randomly captures one of the image and shows it onto the preview side. You can see this folder has a bunch of images and it chooses automatically so you don't have control over that. Using this build overall, I feel like Windows 11 is starting to get into stable territories. Clearly, Microsoft is taking all the steps in right direction. Even small things like having dark theme onto the task manager can help. And also some visual changes are much more appealing than before. In the past, Microsoft did made some wrong decision to disable drag and drop and other features like that. However, Taking a look at the general improvements and refinements done in this Windows 11 build and most of the bugs are gone, I'm happy to say future of Windows is really bright. So what do you think guys? I want your opinion what feature a Windows is still lacking. Do let me know in the comments down below. Besides this, there are lots of minor changes and improvements in this build. So I highly recommend you to update your PC when this build gets out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel and this is Kedar from How to Guys signing out.